I'm going to show you a really quick and easy recipe using salmon and I'm using organic Irish salmon Darren's so these are from the Simply Better collection it's uh, farmed off um, Ackle Island there's no bones in it but there is skin in it so that's what I want so it cooks really really quickly but I'm going to show you a nice way of chasing up now you can pan fry this you can marinate it it's lovely in a barbecue you might have seen one of my older videos with some asparagus and parma ham and some dill it was kind of pan fried really really tasty so this is what it looks like here I've just literally removed it out of the pack I have some already in the oven so you have the skin there you can see that two kind of sheets of tin foil which I have there and I'm going to show you the most simple delicious dressing to um, cook this in and we're going to bake it actually in the actual tin foil it's called impopolette so it used to be done in parchment paper but tin foil is perfect for this great little recipe actually for the barbecue but I'm baking mine off in the oven okay so first thing we'll do is we'll crush some garlic a couple of cloves of garlic so I'm just using my garlic crusher in here that's one clove and I can, salmon um, I'm using but you can use trout you can use monkfish you can use you know some of the white fish like hay haddock any of those fish just eat more fish uh, we're going to grate some uh, lime so I just want to just loosen that up a little bit so I'm using my grater I'm going to grate this here the zest of the lime and the juice of the lime so this is going to give lovely freshness so there's a lovely kind of a kind of like a spicy oriental twist to this and I'm going to use this lovely dressing is soya and ginger so it's part of the simply better collection it's a company or a food producer should i say called full-on foods they're based on the kerry cork border so i'm going to use roughly about a large spoonful of that so it's nice and rich just make sure you shake because all the ginger kind of sinks down to the bottom now they give lovely sweetness we're using this honey and this is from an irish company believe honey so i'm going to put a little spoonful i'd say you love the way i measure things so a tiny wee drizzle of that goes in there and then to spice it up some of this harissa spice so i've used this in quite a few of my videos so these are um two gentlemen oko is the name of the company and this is produced in that loan so there's a nice kick to this now you could use some curry you could use some fresh chili if you wanted to but this is great spices they're all organic they're just super they do the most beautiful turmeric and uh, they do all the spices for the simply better collection they're excellent so let's put the juice in here i'm going to cut this in half i'm going to use my little juicer and then we just simply squeeze this in because if you don't use the lime now you can use lemon if you don't like lime you'll find that it's too sweet with the honey so just a nice squeeze of this we're going to use the full lime here we're going to put in some sesame seeds so just the sesame seeds are toasted that goes in there and then we're going to mix this all together just using the whisk you can use a spoon and just going to combine everything so this little dressing that i've done is really really nice over some cooked broccoli or grilled vegetables even with chicken it's really really nice and you can put it into a, a stir fry so there's lots of flavor there okay so I'm just gonna get a spoon so I'll just show you it you can put in um, some herbs I'm not going to but you can coriander basil all that would work really well so you can see the sesame seeds that will keep for about a week in your fridge in a little kilner jar or an airtight container works really well so for our salmon as I say it's a really really quick recipe we have the two sheets of tin foil. This is the organic Irish salmon. This is some rapeseed oil, and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of rapeseed oil over. We're going to put a pinch of some salt, just a small amount, and then a little bit of black pepper. So vegetables. What I've done here is with some sprout and broccoli, I've literally put it into boiling water for 30 seconds and then put it into cold water. So that's what you call to blanch. And then when it goes into cold water, it calls refresh. So it just keeps it lovely and fresh and it's cold. So it is. You're just really cooking this through and warming it up. It doesn't take long to cook this, about 18, 20 minutes. Oven is preheated at 180. It's a fan oven, so it won't take long at all. Uh, courgettes work really well, asparagus or peas, whatever kind of vegetables you like. I'm a big fan of sprout and broccoli. And this is a great one. We make this in our cookery school for our parents and kids half a day so it's getting fish into their diet it's getting vegetables they make this dressing you know so it's it's just a lovely combination now i'm going to drizzle this all over so all over the broccoli that has been blanched so remember in boiling water with a little bit of salt for about 20 30 seconds and then you must cool it down you can run it uh, through a sieve on any cold water if you want to i have a uh, just a little kind of like a tray here and what I'm going to do is just gather all this up so if you just look at the technique that I'm just r r wrapping this in here because we don't want it to leak out so I'm just getting both corners you can see it in there it's still there it's great and then just literally 
tighten this up. So say you wanted to do this, if you had guests coming or something like that, you could have this done ahead. You could have this ready in the fridge, but what I would do is take it out 20 minutes before you're going to cook it, so it relaxes it. So that little dressing can be made ahead, your broccoli can be blanched ahead, you get this nice salmon, or you can use other fish as I say, so the whole thing is speed, uh, simple, simple uh, recipe. When you use double sheet of, uh, par of um, tin foil, you can use parchment, but tin foil I'm using, it kind of gives a bit more strength to it. So this can actually go onto your barbecue, but what I've done is I've baked it off in the oven. So I'll just take this out and I'll pop this one in, Takes about 20 minutes. These are in about 20 minutes. And we'll just have a little look. Are they cooked? So I'll show you this. Play musical chairs. So it's a fan oven. It's at 180. And I'm just going to leave this on here. So just be careful with that. And then we just open this out here. Now it is hot. Chefs are used to touching hot things. And you can see the steam coming out. So if you zoom in there, you can just see it. So how do you test when it's cooked? So with your knife, go into the center and that's definitely cooked. Now with salmon, you can definitely serve that a little bit pink if you like it, same with trout if you want to. Now you can serve it like that, there's something really kind of nice serving it like that, you just eat it from that, I'm gonna serve it with rice and we're gonna dish it up. But I'm just going to take it out of the tin foil. So with the rice, it's just basmati rice, I cooked it with some stock, a little bit of butter, um, some salt and a stock cube. So yeah, I use the stock cube in that. So we're just definitely gonna spoon this on here. You can serve it with baby potatoes, you can serve it with pasta, with noodles, whatever you prefer, but I think rice is hard to beat. So a couple of spoonfuls of this. So we just pile that nice and high. And then we're gonna lift out our salmon. And you gotta make sure, I don't think it'll be done in any less than maybe 18 to 20 minutes. So 180, remember the temperature for the oven, and it's a fan oven that I'm using. So we just very, very carefully just bring this over and just lift this out, because it is fragile, it is cooked. So just kind of like lift it out. Okay, probably makes it a little bit easier if I use this here, the fish slice. And then I'll pour that lovely dressing there. Lovely. So just lift it onto the plate. You can see the broccoli. I'm gonna get another piece of broccoli. So for the one that I put into the oven, uh, I used uh, three pieces of broccoli, two is fine. And then just with a spoon here, guys, I'm gonna put on this delicious cooking, kind of like syrup, glaze, whatever you want to call it. But that's with the crushed garlic, that lovely ginger, and soy sauce. We have some lime, some honey for sweetness, for lime for sharpness, and then a the little bit of the harissa spice. So it's a very, very quick and delicious and simple recipe. You can use lots of different fish for this. Serve it with rice, potatoes. I just got a little bit of coriander, just here, a little bit chefy here. And this works really well because you think of the flavors that you have, you have lime, you have ginger, you have soya, you have garlic, and coriander works really well with this. So this is the salmon, just to remind you, it's the organic Irish salmon from Clare Island over in Mio, wonderful um, part of the world. And these are the darren, so remember there's no bones in it, but the skin is on, because the skin holds it all together. Serve that with some rice. That from start to finish can be done in 20, 25 minutes. So it's a really quick and delicious recipe. So I hope you try this. That is my um, baked uh, salmon with broccoli and that lovely soya and harissa and lime kind of glaze sauce. We serve with some rice. So enjoy this recipe and happy cooking. Thank you.